Lots of development in Gauteng is hoped uh, to create jobs. The Modafontaine New City Project is now well underway, and that's the word from the city's developers, Hong Kong-listed Zendai Development South Africa. Today, it formally launched the sale of 54 luxury apartments currently under construction in the area. The company says it's already spent 400 million rand on electricity, roads, water and storage infrastructure. When announced last year, the new Modafontaine city was billed as an 84 billion rand development that promised to transform the landscape in that part of the East Rand. And Zendai Development South Africa has indeed begun to break ground. It's launching its first 300-unit residential complex to the public today, with retail prices ranging from 1.1 million to 2.8 million rand. Out of the entire project, 70% of the company's emphasis will be on residential dwellings. And despite South Africa's economic growth woes and wobbles in the Chinese economy, the company says it's pressing ahead with its investment. As we are going forward, it's going to be subject to market demand. And we're saying this is a 40-year development. So in fact, that's got to go through the various cycles. It's got to go through the up and the down cycles. Uh, and then, of course, what is our focus? 70% residential, and we're not focused at the high end of the market. We're actually focused at the middle, uh, from 500,000 up to 3 million. We're saying that demand is not going away. There's a demand for residential apartments. Zendai Development says a 200-bed hospital building is nearly complete near Limbro Park and it's in talks with a private school company to start building schools in the area. It says it's done much to ensure local procurement throughout the project. We are a team of 40 people and we have 12 Chinese people here. We are not importing Chinese people to do any development here. The contracts that are awarded are awarded to local companies. Uh, the, the design is done by local companies and the market and we will sell to local people. This is not a development for Chinese people. This is actually a development for South Africans, built by South Africans and constructed uh, or sold to South Africans and constructed by South Africans. The real game changer will be the running of the Gau train through the area. A technical team has been appointed to design the Modafontaine station, with the construction of it expected to start early 2017, and passengers expected to hop on aboard by early 2018. Nampimela Losiziba, SABC News, Johannesburg.